Hello everybody. Today we are going to see a chart about the simple present. This is Miss Gladys Machado. Here we have the chart where we are going to learn how to make affirmative, interrogative, and negative sentences. First of all, we have to remember that the simple present is used when you want to talk about your daily routine or facts. Let's see. First, in the tense, we are going to mention that we that this chart is about simple present. From this column, where it says question words on, we are going to learn the position of the words in a sentence when we want to write a specific question. In the question words, we have what color, what, when, where, why, how, how many, how much, and among other question words. After the position of the question word, we have the auxiliary. That in the case of the simple present, the auxiliary is do and it is also does. So we have do and does. The auxiliary is going to help us to make questions and negative sentences. So here we have question words, auxiliary. After the auxiliary, we have the pronouns for all the persons, and then we have the verb. And finally, the complement. I want you to look at something. When we have the auxiliary here, and we are making a question, look that the verb doesn't have S or ES. Okay, that is a characteristic of the simple present sentences. So, when we make a question, we have the auxiliars, do and does, and the verb has to be without S or ES. When we write from the auxiliar on, for example, auxiliar, pronoun, verb, and complement, we are making a general interrogative sentence, okay? And when we start the sentence from the question word, we are writing a specific question, okay? We are asking for something specific. What color, what, when, you know, asking for the time, where, when you ask for the place, why, when you ask for the reason, and how, when you ask for the manner, okay? Let's see. Look, when we, the auxiliary is not here. When we write from the pronoun on, here we have pronoun, verb, and complement, that is an affirmative sentence, okay? And as you see, the verb, some of them has the S. When do you put S to the verb? When the subject is he, she, or it. For example, if I say it runs, it runs in the park. That is a sentence. He. He works at the university. Or let's see another example. She exercises in the park. You see, when I use the pronoun he, she, uh, or it, I have to put S or ES to the 
verb in affirmative form. Okay? The other pronouns, they have no S. Okay? I say, I go, um, I go in the morning, I go to work, uh, you teach at the university, or we say, uh, we speak uh, Spanish, we speak English, okay? Uh, they, they play, they play in the park, etc. So that is the affirmative form. Now I want you to look at this. It says, don't and doesn't, okay? Here we have the auxiliar, but in negative form. And look at the position. The position is between the pronoun, okay, and the verb. Here goes the negative form, the auxiliary. So if I want to say something in negative, I say he doesn't, he doesn't speak Japanese. She doesn't, she doesn't play in the park. So, you saw that I didn't mention the S in the verb? Correct. Because when we are making a negative sentence and the auxiliary is here, we cannot put S or ES to the verb. Okay? So we say, he doesn't go, he doesn't go um, to the park in the morning, uh, she doesn't exercise, she doesn't play football, okay? Or it doesn't run. You see, the verb has no S or ES, okay? Now, remember that do is used for I, you, we, and they. And does is for he, she, and it in interrogative or negative form. So, the last sentence that we did that has the, the suffix not here is a negative form. Okay. So, let's see some examples. It doesn't run at home. They don't play here. We don't study Italian. She doesn't come at 10. So, all of these sentences are affirmative, interrogative, or negative? Yes, negative form. Very good. Let's see here. When, when does he study? Where do you work? Why does he exercise? How do you come? Why does he speak? So, what kind of sentences are these? Yes, they are interrogative sentences or interrogative form. And this, what kind of questions are these? Specific or general? Very good. They are a specific questions. Okay, so let's see. Finally, we have here the dog runs in the park. The pants cost ten dollars you teach english at home he works in peru she watches tv at night what kind of sentences are these affirmative interrogative or negative look they have es s some of them affirmative form very good okay so here, today, we have learned from Simple Present that we use this tense to talk about routine or facts. We also know that the auxiliary of the Simple Present is, are do and does. Something important. We know that when the auxiliary is in the question or negative form, the verbs don't have S or ES. And beside that, we learned that 
in affirmative form, the verb, when we talk about the pronouns he, she, it, has S or ES. Well, this is all for today. Thank you very much. If you have any question to ask, write an email to glatema5 arroba hotmail dot com thank you very much for your attention bye bye